it has been an incredibly long. <laughs> it has been an incredible. I don't know if you can tell. I haven't done this in a very long time. Uh, it's been an incredibly long time since I've made a video like this. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, or those of you who do, my first ever videos were me just sitting on my bed talking. Am I the only person that doesn't like the first day of school? And that was like in 2013. And I never could imagine 10 years later that <laughs> I'd be making a video about why I stopped doing what I was doing. Um, so I know a lot of you wonder. I see it in the comments all the time. Where the skids? Where dope island at? Why y'all make skids no more? And um, this is me addressing that. Uh, I don't know. I, I I made skits for 10 years of my life or so from the moment I entered high school, you know, the moment where you stop being a kid and you're gaining your interests that are going to stick. You're gaining your friends that are going to be around for the rest of your life, hopefully. <laughs> and I was just this kid that was in my phone. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't feel like anyone really understood or valued like the, the true person I was. And I just presented a part of me that I knew worked. And that was like the funny, you know what I mean? It's a lot easier to accept that part of me than, than everything. What, what led to the funny, you know what I mean? The trauma, the tragedy, the things that aren't so pleasant to hear or talk about. Um, I kind of kept that hidden. I didn't really know how to talk about it. And it also wasn't a space to, you know what I mean? You think back 2012, 2013, it's not how we are now. We're very like socially aware and care about our mental health and things like that. Um, but yeah, so from the last time you guys seen me, I, I, I moved to LA, um, I lived in LA for maybe five years, had good roommate experiences with my best friend Angelo, bad roommate experiences with other roommates. Um, and me and Angelo, we, we, we never did skits together in high school. We never did Vine together in high school. But we were like, yeah, we're gonna go to LA. You know what I mean? I didn't even know if I wanted to be there. It's just so realistically there was pressure. You know what I mean? Like you're in high school and they're like, yeah, you got a fucking, Whatever you college you go to, you this is the rest of your life. You need to make decisions right now for the rest of your life. And I'm like, I'm not going to college. I know I'm not going to college. I'm I'm not, I have no interest in there. You know what I mean? Based off the things that they were explaining to me. You know what I mean? I didn't know I could go to school and be a creative writer for a show or learn to be a director or any of those things. I'm like, I I'm not I'm not good enough to be a lawyer, bro. I'm I'm failing in school that's free. You think I'm about to pay for school? It's not happening. Um and so it was just tough. And so I just felt like I needed to do something. If I didn't do something, I would be a failure. You know what I mean? Like if I didn't go somewhere, you know? Like kind of like, is that kind of that same uh, negative annotation that they put on people that go to community college in that college space? It's like, if I stayed home, bro, everybody was right. You know what I mean? Everything was going wrong. You know what I mean? Like 12th grade year, Vine got deleted. <laughs> right when I graduated, Vine got deleted. I'm like, fuck. I invested so much of my like life into this. So much of my creativity into this. And it could just be gone like that. But I already was locked in and going to LA. So we go to LA. And um, all I know, the only way I know how to feed myself is through making skits. You know what I mean? Like I don't have any resume i didn't gain those skills throughout you know what i mean all i have is my <laughs> my jokes my, my livelihood depends upon me being funny enough me being creative enough and people thinking that i am you know what i mean like people agreeing like yeah this is pretty funny i'll watch it and you get like five cents from a youtube video you know what i mean or like a company might like the way you presented something but don't say nigga too much it's, it's certain guidelines and and restrictions and I started going in this route where I was making like microwavable content. 
And for those of you who don't understand what that means, it's, it's like a, it's when you make content that's just quick, easy, fast, and, and gets the job done. But it's not your mom home cook roast. You know what I mean? That one that she got to wake up in the morning, put that bitch in a crock pot for like 12 hours. And it tastes delicious, but damn, it took a long time to do it. And damn, will she know if y'all even want to eat that shit, if y'all really going to appreciate it. You know what I mean? Put 12 hours of your day into feeding your children. That's real love. But is it going to get appreciated? You know what I mean? And like, I started making shit that was trendy. You know what I mean? Like, oh, Cardi B just dropped this new song. This is probably how it was in the studio. You know what I mean? Or this is probably how girls be acting when they, you know what I mean? Like shit I wanted to get reposted by from world star or shade room because it was i was doing it for followers at that point you know what i mean i was doing it for the the numbers at that point because i had never had any responsibility i started doing social media when i was in high school so i was like yeah okay 10th grade year 11th grade year if this shit don't work i can just go to college or i can just get a job at, at, at ford or i can go to chrysler you know what i mean you tried your best it didn't work S sucks you know what i mean but it was no like hey <laughs> if this video don't work and you don't get such and such amount of dollars from this video then you ain't gonna have a house like you ain't gonna have nowhere to stay you ain't gonna pay rent like it was really no like it was no consequences for this shit not working and once there's consequences that shit gets scary as fuck because you gotta keep hitting a home run don't let a video not be funny. Oh, this motherfucker fell off. What happened, bro? Back in bond. You know what I mean? Like, and it's pressure. So you looking at every moment in your life, like, how can I make this to a skit? Oh, yeah, this is relatable. How can I tell how can I tell this story to a skit? You know what I mean? Like your friendships become, we're gonna film some shit or we not. You know what I mean? And like it's hard to draw those lines and those boundaries of work and and life. And I would say, like, until I was like 24, I didn't really start living life. Like I didn't really start enjoying life. You know what I mean? Like to where I wasn't just my work. If that makes any sense. Like, oh yeah, you gotta make skits. You know what I mean? Like that that shit is I'm just my I'm just a product of my work. You know what I mean? Like, and so um let's go backwards. Uh me and Angelo moved in together. Uh, maybe 2017. I got it. What I gotta do? I gotta watch me to low. And we were like, yeah. Go ahead, get you. Go get you some popcorn. Go get you some snacks. Get you. Go get you a little drink. Get you a little snack, snack. Get you up out the fridge real quick with it. A little pop top, a little something, something. <laughs> something for your troubles. Shit slowing up. Let's make a YouTube video. To, let's make a YouTube channel together. You know what I mean? We ain't never we ain't made skits together since we was like 14, bro. Let's see where it go. I got my little camera. We can do some shit. At most, this shit works. At least we got a way to pay for our, our rent. You know what I mean? And we just living together and we're best friends. So like ideas come and we talk and we make the videos and shit like that. And it ended up working. It ended up blowing up. But like it was it it was it was weird. It's weird because it's like I'm. I, I felt like I wasn't myself. Like I feel like no one saw me for who I am. If that makes any sense, like I'm a naturally reclusive person. I'm I'm, I'm a extroverted introvert. 
like the way my anxiety works is I always overthink about like what people think about me. What people like it's certain shit I've done. Like where it was just like, oh, I just hugged somebody too hard. And I'm like, damn, they probably fucking uh and I'll think about that shit for like three days. You know what I mean? Like, but I'm also thinking like I'm really uncomfortable in here. So I'm just talking now. I'm just talking before my mind can overwhelm me. You know what I mean? And that's where the skits come from. That's where that chaotic energy comes from. But like to really know me, like you, like you know, I just like staying in my house and watching TV and eating food. You know what I mean? I don't want to go to the club really. I don't like being seen. I don't like being perceived. And that's like, that's fucked. That's fucked because like, think about the career I have. You know what I mean? Everything about it is going to be perceived. Comedy, clothing, you know what I mean? Everything about it is going to be perceived and broken down into itty bitty pieces that I'm either going to pass the test or I'm going to fucking fail. And like, that's scary. <laughs> that's That's scary. And like, it's not on you, the viewer. You like it or you don't. You know what I mean? But it's on it's on me, the the creator, to have a better relationship with the things that I create. But I just didn't. I just didn't. I actually just did not have a good relationship with the shit I was creating. I was looking at the numbers. If it didn't reach the the average of numbers that I'm used to, I fucking failed. And this video didn't work. Or you know what I mean? And like, it just was like I just started becoming so like precise. I started becoming a machine, like a brand. I was less of a person. It was like, yeah, we're gonna put it out like this. Like we're gonna do this video about this is shit. You know what I mean? Like the first Adam and Eve video blew up. All right, now we gotta make Bible videos. And we might as well just keep striking out at gold. But it's like, damn, like what about the ideas that you want that you don't even know if people are gonna think this is funny or interesting or not. You know what I mean? Like I started losing my passion and like my creative, like like I stopped serving myself. And it was working. No one gave a fuck. You know what I mean? Like nobody was like, oh yeah, he ain't serving himself. No one gave a fuck, but I did. You know what I mean? Like coming from this like suicidal, uh, self-harming 14, 15 year old, I'm, I'm dealing with that shit while I'm establishing a YouTube career in high school. You know what I mean? Coming from that to like never thinking I see the age I am now, let alone 23, 22, 21. You know what I mean? And it's like, did I make it through all those years just to be in service of other people? And not in that regard, but like in service to where like I'm doing, I'm like fucking chicken and jiving. You know what I mean? Like I'm just doing what I know works. Like if I'm going to keep living this life that I didn't plan on getting this far away, I got to at least think about what I want. And it got to a point where I was like, I actually don't know what I want. I just was making skits because I stumbled into it. Am I passionate about this? Can I see myself doing this for four years from now? You know what I mean? And I started asking those hard questions and I was just like, oh no, I don't want to do this. Not even because I didn't want to, but just more so like, I got to go out and try something else. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I'm gonna do public speaking because I like talking. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a creative direct my, my shoots for my clothing brand because companies don't let me have the freedom I want to. Can I do that? Like, am I good enough to do that? You know what I mean? Like, you know how like career day happens? I never had a career day with this shit. And it was like, I never gave myself a chance to blossom into anything else, to explore with anything else. You know what I mean? And. Yoshi, Yoshi, my cat, the cat is upstairs, he's losing his damn mind, one second. Okay, I'm back, sorry, my cat is losing his fucking mind, but yeah, it's like, um, you get to a point where you're like, bro, I, I haven't tried anything, you know what I mean? It kind of felt like people told me I was good. And this, this again, this is nothing about the viewer. This is my own problem with the relationship I had with the things I was creating. I wasn't doing it from a good place anymore. I wasn't doing it because it was fun. I was doing it because it worked. And I needed to fucking live. You know what I mean? Like, I'm in LA. <laughs> I'm from Detroit. You know what I mean? Like, I can't fail now. Like, I can't, I haven't, like, that's the scary part with trying something new is that, like, this might not work. 
You know what I mean? Like, this might not work. Like, even me getting back on YouTube and doing cooking, cooking, cooking videos. I'm doing a cooking show. That might not work. You know what I mean? But I already invested. I already got the camera. I already told people I'm gonna do it. You know what I mean? And like, once you share it with the world, it's so fucking scary because no one wants to be a fair. I don't want to fucking fail. I know I am. I know that that's natural to fail for, but it's like, fuck. <laughs> it's not just about me anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I want my little brother to like be able to depend upon me. I want to be able to like provide for my family when I have one. And it's like, am I, the energy I have, so say if I got 100% of energy throughout the day and I'm spending 80% of it trying something until it works, is my, am I using my energy in the best effective way? You know what I mean? And that's scary because it's, it's not just about me anymore. I'm 25. In five years, I'm going to be 30. I'm going to want a family, like children. And it's like, am I letting them down by, by trying to like do, like follow my dreams or like the things that I want to do at the moment? Or should I just fucking, it's too late to dream. It's too late to try something new. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's been 10 years since I fucking made my first video like this. And somehow I'm back. Now I just want, I don't know. I just want this to be like a better, I want to have a better relationship with this shit because I do enjoy it. I do enjoy talking just, I'm in the house by myself. I talk to myself all the time. Why not record it? Why not share my perspective with you guys? So if you're a creator, if you want to be a creator, you can avoid shit that I did that was wrong, like that, that fucked me up. You know what I mean? I enjoy being on Instagram live. I mean, TikTok live now because I get to talk to people. I enjoy being on Twitch. But fuck, you can't, I can't act like I don't look at the numbers. I can't act like I'm like, ah, like, oh, it's 30 people in this fucking stream and I've been on here for six hours. I wasted, did I waste six hours out of my day? Or do I keep doing this and keep being happy when one person comes in? You know what I mean? It's like both sides of the coin. And, and sometimes, and it's never from a place of, of not appreciating. It's from a place of like self-doubt and it's hard when those voices get so fucking loud. You know what I mean? And like, I don't doubt myself when it's just me. But like, it, I've been doing this for so long that like, everyone has an opinion on me or what I'm doing or how I should be doing it. And it's like, I've heard that I fell off from people I know personally, <laughs> like close to me, you know what I mean? And like, damn, I'm, I'm happier now. You know what I mean? Like I'm coming back to y'all right now happier. I'm a happier person than when I was in 11th grade, 10th grade, and I'm doing a YouTube video with a fresh fucking self-harming scar on my face. You know what I mean? I'm in a better place. Am I, is my numbers the same? Am I still getting a million views on a, on a Vine? No, that's not happening. But I'm also not making skits. You know what I mean? That's not happening, but at least I'm fucking, as a person, fuck Mitro Mars, fuck the guy that makes skits, fuck the guy that make you laugh. Like, as a person, I'm happier. I'm healthier. I take care of myself better. You know what I mean? Like when I was making skits, bro, it'd be times where I'm fucking zooted, not during the skits, but like in that time frame. You know what I mean? Like two ambience, five shots, three champagne flutes. You know what I mean? Trying try to do whatever, trying to take it out. You know what I mean? Because I, I, it just did nothing matter to me. How can I value a life that I didn't expect to be having at this age? <laughs> You know what I mean? I had to learn to love my life now. I had to learn to be happy that I'm alive. Because I didn't plan for this. I didn't plan to make it this far, let alone make it this far in my fucking career. Does that make sense? And so it's like, I couldn't keep fucking making jokes when I wasn't, wasn't shit funny. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, it stopped even being to a point where like, it stopped being to a point where I could even joke my way through pain. You know what I mean? It was like, bro, I, I can't. Like, I'm fucking, I'm nervous. I doubt myself. I'm scared for the future. What if, it, if I just got lucky and I, my luck ran out? That's fucking scary. And you shouldn't talk to yourself like that, but it's like, 
I don't know. You know what? What is the reason? You know what I mean? It, it has to be my fault that this isn't working. And it's like the closer I've I've gotten to like being spiritual and trying to find God. It's like yeah, everything just happens when the time is right. I've known that, but it, it it's just like would I rather to be on top of the world and be this super famous successful guy or just be <laughs> Someone that is happy to wake up. Because it was days when I wasn't happy to wake up when I was... Nigga. Nigga! Hey! It's like... um, (laughs) When we stop making skits, the further we got away from it, the harder it was. Cause it was like, oh, I don't mean anything to these people anymore. I don't, <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't provide what they wanted from me. You know what I mean? And like, I don't know, I felt useless. <laughs> I, I felt useless on the internet. Like, I felt like I didn't have anything to offer. You know what I mean? And like, I don't know. I, I, don't, even, I don't even know where, where, what to say from that. Cause I still feel that way. And it's like, it's like, um, we easily, and me and Angel could easily just start making skills again. I could easily start making skills again, but it's like, damn, does that undo all the work? You know what I mean? Does that undo? Like, then all this was pointless. You know what I mean? It's like, don't, you can't fucking walk 10 miles and then decide you went the wrong way. Well, you can't. (laughs) But it's like, I don't think it was the wrong decision. But sometimes when I doubt myself, it's like, I'm like, damn, did we fuck up? You know what I mean? Like, did we fuck up by like, just walking away? Cause like Angelo wanted to make music. Angelo makes music now, and it's beautiful music. I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do. I still don't. <laughs> and it's like, do I even have time to figure it out? And sometimes it just feels like life is escaping me, and like day by day, I'm forgotten. That's that's the fear as a creator. It's like if you don't post. A skit every day. Things don't forget about you. Old news. Because there's so many people that they can find they, they laughs from. That they can get this parasocial relationship from. You know what I mean? And it's like, what the fuck makes me special? Not that you guys have to make me feel special either. Like, I, I it's just more so like, what the fuck? Like what the like? Even said this, I'm like, what the fuck? They want to hear from me for like, hear me talking, hear my thoughts. They probably fucking don't. But then you get back to it, and it's like, well, this is what I want to do. You know what I mean? And like, it's just a daily back and forth battle. And I'm working on it. But I just know what I want my life to look like, and I just know that like. I want to be happy with what I do. I don't want to do it because it works. I don't want to just do it because I'm. it works. <laughs> I don't want to not do the things that scare me. You know what I mean? And um, This video is 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 the first start of me trying. Me trying to just do what I want to do. And <laughs> if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But it, it will work because trying is all we ever can do. If that makes any sense. So I appreciate you all sitting through this 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 uh brain vomit for me where I just talk.
And yeah, I hope I hope I hope I hope I don't make it to where it's so long until we we have a conversation like this again because I really miss these. These these got me through high school, and I feel like these might get me through life right now. So, thank you all. <laughs>